Open up your test review, <clears throat> our MTT for the test review part two, factoring. Okay, we have a binomial we're going to factor. So 64 is a perfect square, and x squared is a perfect square. 1 is a perfect square. It's subtracting, so it's going to be a plus and a minus. The square root of 64, x squared is 8x. And the square root of 1 is 1. If I'm factoring, I stop there. If I'm going to solve, I'm going to have 8x plus 1 is equal to 0, and 8x minus 1 equals 0. 0 pair out the 1, 8x is equal to negative 1, divide by 8, divide by 8. Here I'm going to 0 pair out the 1, so it's going to be 8x is equal to 1, divide by 8, divide by 8. So my roots are going to be negative and positive 1, 8. All right, 5 is not a perfect square, so we're going to see what our common factor is. We're going to take out a 5 out of both of them, and they both have a C. So 5C comes out, leaving me with C squared minus 9. C squared is a perfect square. 9 is a perfect square. We're subtracting, so it's going to be plus minus. Square root of C squared is C. The square root of 9 is 3. And, of course, we take our 5C down here. If I'm factoring, I'm done. If I'm going to solve, I'm going to have 5C is equal to 0. C plus 3 is equal to 0. C minus 3 is equal to 0. 0 pair out the 3s. So my roots are going to be negative 3, 0, and positive 3. The area of a rectangle of a room is 104 feet squared. The length of the room is 5 feet longer than the width. Find the dimensions. So we're going to go ahead and draw our room. Our width is x because we don't know the width, and our length is 5 longer than the width, so it's going to be x plus 5. Our area formula is a equals lw, and we're going to go ahead and fill in what we know, 104, and then the x plus 5, and then the x. We're going to go ahead and do post-it notes, so it's going to be x times x plus 5 is equal to 104. We're going to rainbow, so it's going to be x squared plus 5x is equal to 104. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I have to factor this, so I'm going to need to zero pair out the 104, and I'm going to have x squared plus 5x minus 104 to factor. I'm going to take 104 over here, and I'm going to break it down, factor tree. So I'm going to do 2 and 52, and then I'm going to do 2 again and 26, and then I'm going to do 2 again and 13. And notice that I can take 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and then 8 times 13 is 104. So that's going to be the pair that we're going to use, 8 and 13. Now I need a positive 5, so the 8 is going to be negative. So this is going to be x minus 8, and it's going to be x plus 13. Now when I solve those, x minus 8 is equal to 0, and x plus 13 is equal to 0. I get a negative 13, and I get a positive 8. So the width of the rectangle is going to have to be the positive 8, and then the length is going to be the positive 13. Okay, again, I'm going to need to zero pair out the 45 in order to factor. So I have y squared plus 4y minus 45. Factor t, I'm going to have negative 45 and then I'm going to have 4 on the other side. I'm going to do a positive 9 and a negative 5. So x minus 5, x plus 9. If I'm factoring, I'm going to stop there. If I'm solving, I'm going to take x minus 5 is equal to 0. x plus 9 is equal to 0. I'm going to 0 pair out the 5. 0 pair out the 9, so I'm going to have x is equal to a positive 5, x is equal to a negative 9. So my two roots are going to be negative 9 and 5.
All right, and our last problem is an example of a perfect square trinomial. 25 is a perfect square. X squared is a perfect square. 49 is a perfect square. If I take the square root of 25x squared, it's going to be 5x, and the square root of 49 is 7. If I take 5x times 7, that's 35, and then if I double it, that's going to be 70. So that means it's a perfect square trinomial. I have the subtraction... This needs to be a plus to make it a perfect square trinomial. So then we're going to go ahead and do 5x plus 7 and 5x plus 7. So it would be 5x plus 7 squared.